Hey there, it's me, Ripper of the Clown, the unpredictable cartoon character come to life. And hey, the online rumors were true. It was announced today that Bill Goldberg is going into the 2018 WWE Hall of Fame. Now, you know what? I always enjoyed Bill Goldberg's work. He wasn't great in the ring by any means, but he was always really fun to watch. And I consider myself a fan of his work. And truly, his in-ring presence and persona, um, it's they're really a nostalgic staple of pro wrestling from the 1990s. And I think a Hall of Fame spot for Bill Goldberg is well-deserved and, generally speaking, really overdue. But I have to say, um, during my recap of the Lackluster 2017 Hall of Fame, which you can find here on YouTube, and wherein I kind of gave an alternative Hall of Fame, which would have made the 2017 Hall of Fame tantamount better, I kind of predicted that Bill Goldberg would be inducted uh, when I discussed how, um, again, the 2017 Hall of Fame would have been better if they would have inducted Goldberg in lieu of Diamond Dallas Page. You see, if they would have inducted Bill Goldberg last year, this is what would and could have happened. And think about what the WWE could have done here and how they absolutely dropped the ball in every regard. Where were their heads? What are they thinking? I guess, you know, by watching their product, we know what they're thinking. They don't have a freaking clue what they're doing. So here, follow me. Weeks before WWE pay-per-view Fastlane, they could have announced Goldberg as a part of the 2017 Hall of Fame. Then at Fastlane, Goldberg goes into that match against Kevin Owens and beats him for the Universal title, thereby becoming the first person to ever be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame the night before he defends a title at WrestleMania. Does that not sound like the perfect scenario? Then at WrestleMania, the day after getting inducted, Hall of Famer Goldberg defends the belt in a history-making match against Brock Lesnar. He loses to Brock Lesnar, and then Brock Lesnar can say that he not only beat Hall of Famer Bill Goldberg to win the title, but he also, you know, beat The Undertaker several years ago. Now, this Bill Goldberg induction for 2017 would have made perfect sense. It would have been a moneymaker, simply in the promotion of what it meant to have a Hall of Famer defending a title at WrestleMania. Goldberg would have been even more sympathetic to the crowd. I mean, they loved him anyway, but he would have become even a more sympathetic crowd favorite, knowing that he was a Hall of Famer defending the belt against Lesnar at WrestleMania, thereby making Lesnar an even bigger bastard for beating Goldberg that night after, you know, the day after his Hall of Fame induction. And, you know, they could have added this to Brock Lesnar's credentials as this monster heel. Again, first he beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania and ruined his... Uh, undefeated streak and now he spoiled Hall of Famer Bill Goldberg's title range and uh, his special night after being inducted by beating him and taking the belt you know like again like Lesnar beating The Undertaker it could have been something the WWE used and mentioned for years and years and years to the point where it became overkill but in 2017 did they decide to do what made perfect logical sense nope they didn't and thereby we had a perfect once in a lifetime scenario that the WWE ignored for 2017 only to induct Bill Goldberg one year later in 2018 with zero fanfare and really no pretext to make for a more important WrestleMania storyline and to cash in on the opportunity. And instead we just have another stale, atypical induction that means nothing when last year it could have meant something and everything on a variety of multifaceted levels. I'm Ripper the Clown.